There were a lot of concerns around the tuition fee, the teaching quality, online courses and the final exams. My name is Catherine Xinyue Wang. I'm from China. The city has been cut off from the rest of the country. Trains, flights, China is locked down the 23rd of January. The travel ban started was the 1st of February and I was at home in Hubei province. Everything is pretty intense already. The travel ban from Australia put a double ban on me to the way of return to Melbourne for study. We have a WeChat group of a lot of Hubei students from Melbourne Uni only. It's growing continuously and now it's like 240 already. So in the chat we're updating the confirmed cases of COVID-19 every day just to follow up with how bad the situation is and what are the percentage of the chances that we can go back to Unimel. But we don't know what we want to improve the situation. I'm not good at coping with uncertainty. Yeah, of course, I miss uni. <laughs> uni life is the best. I miss all of my friends and all the student activities. And I think it's not something that you would have after you graduate, because you just have three years of uni or two years of master life. And it's cherished the moment that I was on campus and being involved. I think my friends would describe me as very helpful, always very positive, that I would be willing to help people. They think I'm pretty extrovert, but sometimes I'm introvert as well. Before the meeting with the university, I think we need a better way of communication in terms of having a consolidated request. So me and four friends consolidate all the questions and putting the same document and send it to the person who's organizing the webinar. After the webinar, the director of the stop one contacted me about another Zoom meeting regarding all the questions and to have an update on our current situation in Hubei province. Afterwards, I was contacted by Rebecca Bywater and she is the chief of staff of COVID incident response team of the UNIMEL. She's asking me for an interview and she gave me a few questions and asked me if I can get a few more other students' insights on their situation. I put everything in online questionnaire and I distributed it among my friends. I got like around 50 or 60 response. So I present the result in the report format and present it to Rebecca Bywater on the Zoom meeting and that's the meeting which determines the student support grant for students who are impacted by the travel ban. The email from the university saying that the support grant is up to 7,500 and that was quite surprising to me. So I think university do care about us. If we need help and they will try the best to help us, I realize that there's always a gap between the university and the students. As long as we speak up and the university would be willing to help and they are very open to listen what was our situation and how they can help. My name is Catherine Xinyue Wang. Yeah, that's me.